There's nothing more British. Probably uh, Djokovic. Andy Murray's out! <laughs> <laughs> Centre court VIP. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. He's so close. Pims. Achaim, Achaim. Get myself on the news there. Pretty, pretty good money. Enjoy some kosher food. Bring us out. Thank you, thank you. Good morning from NW11. I'm here in Golden Screen. It's four o'clock and we're heading to Davin Nets and then we're heading to Wimbledon. Although we're going to Davening and that is limiting our chances of getting tickets today in Wimbledon because we're going to arrive later. I don't think you can lose out for Davening. We're just on the way to Wimbledon, London for uh, the final actually. Roger Federer versus Novak Djokovic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so we just arrived into Wimbledon town. The entire town is decorated and celebrating Wimbledon. Every single building has got flags and tennis rackets and tennis balls. Very cute. Parking the car in a car park around five minute drive from Wimbledon. And um, we're gonna take a taxi because yeah, it'll be impossible to park any nearer. And here is our taxi, which is gonna take us to the queue. Laser, do you think we're gonna be the first people in the queue? I drop already some people. Oh, so we can't uh, wait, oh, we're right. not gonna be the first then, right? Ah, uh, okay. Not the first, but not the last. Right. First hiccup of the day. The Uber driver couldn't take us to the main gate where we need to go to, so we just climbed over a fence. And yeah, we're in the grounds, now we need to get to the queue. Kind of rushing, because the earlier you get there, the better chance you have to get in, or maybe even to get to a show court. Six o'clock in the morning, and there's probably 10,000 people here. People have been sleeping in tents overnight, just to get a tickets to get into Wimbledon. From the looks of it, I very much doubt we'll get into a court, but we'll get a ground pass, and from there, we can try and watch some tennis. People down there playing football, they're gonna be waiting for hours, might as well enjoy themselves. So if you come to queue up and you don't have a ticket, you look for this big yellow flag here with a queue on it, that's where you need to head to. Hello guys, good morning, have a lovely day. Just got our queue card, it's around seven o'clock and we are hopefully will be in the ground by eleven. It's only four hours, not too bad. This is the queue. Real Wimbledon experience. We've got some rain, ponchos, raincoats, such fun. There's nothing more British than waiting in a queue in the rain. So Wimbledon is one of the four Grand Slams, which is the four major tennis tournaments every year. And this is actually the oldest tennis tournament, which has been going since 1877. The system of having a queue to get in, you couldn't do in any other country. Imagine having a queue in Israel. There are fights and arguments and pushing and shoving. Here, the English people wait calmly Relax, no one's pushing, no one's shoving. Only slept around 30 minutes last night, so I'm gonna try and get some rest now. So you can leave the queue as long as you've got someone to uh, keep your space. So we're going on a bit of walkie walkies, maybe go get some coffee. Just outside the main gate of this convenience store. Very yeshivish mat serve, little coffee room here. All right, we're starting to move. Bye everyone, bye, bye. With all this walking around, I'm definitely gonna get my steps in today. And all the guys behind us putting away their tents. I think it's actually a very healthy exercise, this waiting. In today's generation, everything's about instant gratification. No, we can sit here, wait four or five hours. Very, very healthy practice. Who is a tennis all-time goat? Roger Federer. Obviously, obviously. Good morning, sir. Who would you say is a tennis all-time goat? Greatest of all time, yeah. Who is it? Uh, probably uh, uh, Djokovic. Djokovic, yeah, I guess. And he's won the most Grand Slams. Yeah. Right. From London, South London, London, various areas. <laughs> Very exotic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, who, who, the, the golden question on everyone's mind is yeah. who do you think is going to win Wimbledon this year? Okay, and who do you want to win? Um, yeah. You want Djokovic, okay. Yeah, I want Andy, oh, Andy, Andy Murray. Murray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Andy Murray's out. <laughs> the, the odds are quite, uh, not, not in his face. It's 9.30, we've been here for around three hours. And I think we're heading towards security now. Once we've done that, I think we should be getting into the grounds. Not gonna lie, getting a bit fed up now. Four hours in, legs are aching a bit. And finally, we're about to enter the actual grounds and then it should be just a massive minutes until we can get to see some tennis. Okay, now the queue gets a bit interesting. There's screens, I think there's coffee coming up. May I offer you a very warm welcome to Middle Sunday. I'm not in the mood for a coffee, but if I want it, it's free right here. Are you an actual umpire? I am an actual umpire. Oh, well, I love that. So if you have a Barclays card, you actually get free drinks. Love that. Great advertisement for Barclays. We've got some table tennis here, some actual tennis a bit further back. 
Wow, free smoothie. Wow, wow. Am I jealous? I didn't have a Barclays card, so I didn't get a free smoothie, but I've got an Amex and I got a free radio. Wow, wow, wow. It's very cool how all the different sponsors from the tournament have the entertainment in the end bit of the queue. And I've just found my friend and we're here. And we are here. Buying the tickets and then, yeah, we're going in. Welcome to Wimbledon! Whoa! My GoPro stick got taken by security. But uh, yeah, behind me over here, they've still got the old fashioned order of play. It's not electric. Song comes and puts in the different players. Very cool. We didn't get tickets in centre court or court one. We've got a ground pass, which allows us to go into any court from court three until 18. And there's some decent players playing on those courts. So let's try and get into court three, where Tisty Pass is playing in a doubles match. And this is where the real Battle of Athens go. Centre court, VIP. And Mitsu Shem, one day I'll be doing that. Court three is full. We're gonna try and get into court 12, where Juzy Murray, Andy Murray's brother, and English players play. Queuing up for court 12. Well, at the moment, we're gonna see on the screen. Could have stayed at home. We spent five hours queuing in a field just to get in here. And now, just to get into court 12, not centre court, court 12. Uh, we've been here already like 20 minutes in the queue and probably got another 20 minutes to go. End of a set and loads of guys are coming out, so I think we should get in quicker. Should be in any minute now. By the tunnel now, ever so close, ever so close. Finally, we made it. Game, top game. What a, game. Wow. What a moment wow. in the atmosphere. Tie break, second set. Murray wants to stay in the game, he needs to win this tie break. It's one set apiece, we're going into the decider. Yeah, good game to come to. Jamie Murray is serving for the game. Only two points away from winning it. Match point, match point. Well done, boys, well done. points from losing and yeah they turned it around they did it well done well done we're on court 12 here in Wimbledon and it's the fifth largest with a thousand seven hundred seats and there's another English doubles game so we're gonna stay so if you have an American Express card you get this radio piece for free and you just tune into the court you're on and then you can listen to commentary as well quite cool set mm, too good their breakdown down the second set not looking good for them laser and i give them some morale come boost on. come on it's a challenge what's it gonna be in out in out oh. Unfortunately, the Brits are out. How sad. It's a very sad day for Britain. <laughs> They've lost the game. First match, the Brits won. Second, they didn't. You win some, you lose some. There's quite a lot of these smaller courts so we can just walk past and watch. Don't need to queue up. Just like bench or you can stand up. It's probably even start five with them, you're so close. Wimbledon's a very, very, very upper class event. People wearing uh, fancy suits, ladies wearing fancy dresses. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very expensive. All the prize money given out in this tournament is 45 million pounds, with the winner of the men's single getting 2.35 million. Pretty, pretty good money for two days, for two weeks' work. Behind me is court number 18, which is famous for the game between John Isner and Nicholas Mahu, maybe like 12, 13 years ago. And that was the longest tennis match. And the last set went to 70 68. The official drink of Wimbledon, Pims, Lachaim, Lachaim. I'm not going to tell you how much it costs because it's too much. Behind over here is a famous Henman Hill, Murray Mount. Basically, just a huge hill with a huge screen where you can watch the games live. I mean, live on a screen, not live, live, but yeah. Just to soak up the atmosphere, the ambiance, the energy. Crowds have come from Absolutely far incredible. In. So much clearer to watch it on the screen. I don't know why anyone bothers even going into the stadiums. Do you think I should quickly get myself on the news there? 
No, it doesn't look exciting enough. I once heard that Wimbledon makes so much money that in the first two days of the tournament, out of 15 days, they make the whole turnover. So everything from then is profit. Yeah, they're making serious money. This gets updated every few minutes because every time a game finishes, they put in the scores. Over here is where the ticket resale offices and people leave, you can buy their tickets for a fraction of the price. There's a crazy line. And obviously everyone's going to send to court for Djokovic later on. So I'm not sure. We've made a unanimous decision to head to Chabad, get some food, head back to Manchester. Sensible choice, you know, I need to get back to work tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not a big fan of Djokovic, I've seen him play before. You know, we can watch him on in the car journey home back to Manchester. So yeah, it's been a lovely day. It's been fun. In terms of cost for a day pass, it's £27. You can get into quite a few courts. It's not the biggest ones. Um, and then, yeah, at the end of the day, you can get resale to send to court, which is maybe £15 or something. So it doesn't have to be that expensive. But once you start buying drinks here and buying a few souvenirs, it will add up. Yup, it exists. Chabad near Wimbledon, not in Wimbledon. 20 minute walk away. Here it is, very well priced, burgers, eight pounds, hot dogs. Yeah, come to Wimbledon, go enjoy some kosher food. Wow, Chabad, they, uh, they've done it again. Rabbi Dove here, sorting us out. Thank you, thank you. Wow, this smells exciting. I'm hungry, let's dive in. Do you know when you go to a football game, you can smell the food trucks? It's what it smells like, just the kosher version, delicious. 9.8, 9.8. And in line with Wimbledon, here we have it. Strawberries and cream. Obviously Parva because we just had a burger. They've thought of everything here. Very, very fairly priced. We got a burger, got a chips, we shared strawberry and cream. We got a drink, 17 pounds. Kosher food in Wimbledon. Unbelievable. 12 hours later, we're back in the car park. I have slightly less energy. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna sum up. It's a great day out, but I would recommend sleeping the night before you come here and not needing to drive back straight away, you know. Maybe take a few days in London, because otherwise you're a bit too tired for the whole experience. It's been great fun. We've seen some good tennis, we've had the good atmosphere, we've had the Wimbledon ambiance, and definitely recommend to come. And of course, end off with a thank you Hashem for the amazing day. And thank you Hashem, within nine minutes, we saved ourselves seven pound 50, because we were within 12 hours, so we didn't go until 24 hours, stay in the car park.